Hello, Griffiths here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to feed Fonderby to a hive midwinter. As you can see, it's quite a heavy frost on the ground today. But we're going to feed this hive with Fonderby without actually going inside the hive. So, knife, cut the box open. And every 12.5 kilo box has got five of these 2.5 kilo packs in them. And this is a product we, that we use ourselves and we also sell this product. So if you're interested in buying this product, go to our Amazon or eBay shop and we'll post this out to you. And it's really easy to feed. Just take a knife, cut across in the middle. We don't need that now. Peel that back and bend it back on itself we're just exposing the fondant like that so that's the fondant and it's really easy just take the lid off crown board is exposed there and the entrance there into the hive we put that piece which we've exposed directly onto the crown board there so the bees can get access to the fondant and what you'll find in the winter then come back in a couple of weeks they'll eat the inside and work out so by the time they come to the edges here you'll know it's time to put another slab on and this crown board's got a bit of an extension on it to allow feeding but you don't actually need that because you've got the extension in the lid anyway and it's as easy as that now if you feed in a poly hive, this is a Payne's poly hive, the crown board is a bit different. So I've cut a hole in there and it's exactly the same process. Put the fondant on top, but because you haven't got the measure in here, you will need to add an eek or an empty super on top of the crown board so the lid still sits tight in the hive and we don't get an air gap the draft to get in but nonetheless it's just as easy now if you feed in a poly nuke this is a Payne's poly nuke this doesn't come with a crown board but feeding fondant to this hive is just as easy so you take the fondant out the pack take it all out of the bag you peel this back and you just push the fondant in there just peel it back like that, there's no need to go into the hive itself. You just feed it all along and a whole 2.5 kilo bag will squeeze in there easy. As long as the fondant's not too hard, it hasn't frozen anything, you'll be able to squeeze it in there with ease. And feeding a nuke with fondant is just as easy as that. Or if you prefer, you can leave it in the bag. You just Cut it in half. Like so. So this piece here is now exposed. Take the lid off. While leaving it in the bag, just squeeze that down. Just like that. And I'll take you over. The bees are getting on the fondant straight away. Now once the bees are finished with that fondant, before you put the next slab in, just remove the plastic from the hive and you're good to go again. Well you can see how easy it is to feed fond bee to timber hives, poly hives, poly nukes and normal nukes. It's a really easy product to use and it's a great winter feed for your bees. And it's also a great spring and summer feed as well. If you're like me, I don't feed syrup in the summer or the spring at all because I don't want the syrup to contaminate the honey. So if I've got to feed anything, I'll use Fonda Bee. And a little bit about Fonda Bee, you can see it's quite soft. Firm, but soft. 
and the reason for that is this is a specialist bee feed unlike fondant icing which you buy for the cooking industry this is designed to be palatable now the bees can digest this and consume it straight away they don't need to add water or saliva or anything to it it's ready for the bees to digest now with fondant icing that you buy for the cooking industry that's a very hard block of sugar the bees can't digest that that well and the sugar ingredient isn't exactly the same as this this has worked out to be um, Bellosuck, the company that make fond of bee they've done the research and they've bought this product out and it is a specialist bee feed and the bees absolutely love it it's very good from the nutritional content of this is very high and the bees do very well on it we've been using this product now probably good close to 10 years and we've seen fantastic results uh, the bees go through winter very good on it fills them up and comes in a handy 2.5 kilo bag and that will stay on the high for a good couple of weeks for the winter if they're short on feed and hopefully you found this video useful and informative and you'll use this product yourself thanks for watching